I just told you my name. <laughs> I like you. Can we be friends? I'm sorry. I do not keep friends. I see. Do you know who my father is? Igwe Okaka. My father crowned your king, Ikema. Are you aware of that particular history? Oh yes, princess. And yet, you don't want to be friends with the daughter of a famous king. Like I said, I do not keep friends. I mean, we're your friends. <laughs> Wash your words so your mouth will not get into trouble. That will be all for now. Mama, Mary, Biko, who is that girl? Uh, and uh, what does she want? Uh, Mama, this lady did not make a single point here. Hold on, Mama, do you mean she left the palace and came all the way to your house to ask you to be her friend? Palace, princess. The palace guards came here and drove off with her. He said that the uh, white lion wants to see her. The white lion wants to see her? Hmm. I was here and they, he came. The two of them left. <coughs> okay, I. I will call her on the phone then. No, no problem. Call her. Call her. Yes. Well, you have to be on our way now. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm. Thank you, ma'am. Bye bye. Why would the king be sending for your girl to come to the palace? Should we pay him a visit? Pay him a visit for what? Some for what? For your girl, of course! Or are you afraid of the king? Look, all I'm saying is that let your heart not be troubled. You can, uh, my very good friend. My heart is not troubled. Alright? Thanks for your concern, all the same. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Come. Are you, are you sure about this? Absolutely. Me? It's okay. Listen, listen. Should we just pay him a visit? Mm. Don't bother about the visit. It is not necessary. Why is her number switched off? This is unlike her. I, I don't want to have any negative thought or feeling.
I will not deceive you. You see, what I'm about to tell you now is very important. The next time you visit Mirama in school, try your best and get her pregnant. Yes. Ikenna, have you lost it? What kind of stupid advice is this, Ikenna? Have you lost it? Don't, 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 don't ever in your life make this kind of comment again. Please. Calm down now. Have I said anything wrong? How, listen, listen, I'm looking out for you as my friend. I know what I'm saying. See, I don't want your property to turn to another man's property. Hey, I'm If not me. Ah, for don't give this girl the lessons. Straight up. No time. Unfortunately for you, it cannot no be your girl, only be not my girl. Thanks for your advice, but please keep it to yourself. How do you expect me to get a fine year student pregnant just because I want to scare her away from other men? Are you stupid? Have you lost it or what? I know what I'm saying. God is helping you now, and you are feeling his by your power. You see, all these Chiwakon boys, when they see that girl, they will take her away from you. All your suffering, all your sweat, you have just wasted your time. Kenna, listen and listen, real God. Thanks for your advice, but I want to let you know that Miriam and I are bonded by the love that no one can break. Nobody would love herself so much, we come a long way. Miriam that I know can never in her entire life leave me for any other man in this life. I, Obina, will not get her pregnant. I will wait for her because she will never, ever in her entire life disappoint me. You know what? I love Miriam so much. Oh God. This is frustrating. You're glowing. I see that life is treating you well. Now let me just ask for formality. How are you enjoying your, your new job? Very well, Your Majesty. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. Uh, it's, it's glaring that you find satisfaction doing what you have always wanted to do. I mean, really, that's what life is about. You know, fulfillment. Uh, you wake up every morning to something that you look forward to. Your Majesty, thank you so much for everything. I really do appreciate it. This is only the beginning. You're welcome. Anytime. By the way, I have a very close friend of mine I'd like to go visit tomorrow. And I was thinking that you... It would be nice if you accompany me. You know. It's okay. It's fine. I understand. If you can't make it, it's fine. I, I totally... No, no, no. No, Your Majesty. I'm just surprised. I will go with you. Oh, okay. That would be nice. I thought that you didn't want to be seen in public with your king. No, Your Majesty. Huh? 
Look like you're shy. Don't worry. You cannot even look at your king straight in the eye. Huh? Look at your king. Where are you coming from? From the palace. The Igwe sent for me. I'm sorry, I tried calling you, but you weren't taking your calls. Why was your phone switched off? I had a flat battery. I got home and Mama told me you came to the house with Ikenna. Yes, we came to the house. <sighs> Have you had something to eat? You don't look happy. Okay, I'll just go prepare something for you quickly. Don't bother. I'm going out to share my car. this place and why are you trailing me you recall I once told you to choose your words very very careful right you recall telling me that you don't make real friends huh <laughs> but right now you are gradually falling in love with a king <laughs> so you want to tell me that you will be so ungrateful to Obina, your taxi driver lover. After all he has done for you. After all his sacrifice. Are you that mean? Are you? Point of correction, my princess. I am not falling in love with the king. Oh, please. And about my relationship with Obina, it shouldn't be a headache to you. Why are you digging deep about me? I am curious, you know. Time. Shall tell. Is that not the princess of Azoka Kingdom? The daughter of Yugo Akaka? What did she come here to do? I don't know. She started stalking recently. Stalking you? Why? What for? I don't know. She's trying to cajole me into becoming friends with her. <laughs> friends with her? Why? I really do not know. But let's just forget about her. So tell me, how did your day go? Perfectly well. It is a bit stressful, but I'm good. Yeah. I made you something. Mm. Something sweet as you, right? <laughs> <laughs> me to go to the palace anymore. Just tell me and I will not disobey you. No, 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 I'm not stopping you from going to the palace to see the king. You know, as a matter of fact, people go there to, to, to see him for one reason or the other. Hmm? And I remember he helped in, in 
know, securing your I work with the state university. Hmm? But if you're not comfortable with it, I can stop. I'll quit. Uh, no, no, don't quit, please. You, you visit any time you want to visit, okay? Nah, feel free. Are you sure you're okay? Of course. Very sure. Me. Igwe said I should accompany him somewhere tomorrow. Eh? Yeah, I mean, the king wants me to go somewhere with him tomorrow. Oh, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. You, you, you can go with him. Yeah. Should I go? Eh? I mean, are you comfortable with it? Should I go with him? Uh, yes, I am. I'm very comfortable. How is your new friend, the lecturer? She's fine, thank you. Mm. I see. God for royalty. How dare you try to poison the king's drink? What? Shut up! My king, this girl dropped a love potion into your drink. I saw her. I don't know what came over me. Please forgive me. Unless question. Yes, go ahead. What is Princess doing in our palace? What is she doing here? After all, our king has chosen for himself a wife to be. So, what business does she have in the palace? You that princess self. She is there for a business purpose. You mean it? Yes. She has a purpose. She has a target. Her, hey. her father 
planted her in the palace so she can seduce our king for him to succumb to giving out our oil without them paying the adequate compensation. Oh, yeah, man. That is it. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, but but the, the truth is that the king refused. He categorically said no. Because he knows the negative effect it will have on our people in the future. Hmm. Yes. Oh, well. uh, he I... said, but eventually he changes his mind. Oh, they have to assure him of a safer place. A safer heaven. In other words, they have to make a better place for our people. Which means we will be having two kingdoms. You mean what you're saying? That is the impossible. Way. Impossible. Ye living this our land. Omame. You see? Have you seen it? Igwe Okaka refused to comply with the demands of our king. Believing that planting his daughter in our palace will make an impact. Hmm. That's a rant nonsense. So, it will um, not happen. Oh, that is it. What, no. we, what we were saying before. Yes. You see, in a kingdom where you have wise, intelligent, peaceful men. Yes. You don't allow certain things to. How can your friend put love potion in his majesty's juice? Is she out of her mind? Hey. She thinks this, these palace guards are just here to be watching. They are spiritually inclined. And even if you enter this palace today with a gun to assassinate his majesty, it will not make any impact at all. Yes. Honestly, some people need to ask questions. Like I don't understand. She's the only one crushing and desiring to be queen. I don't know. See, me in my mind, I'm a queen already. In fact, I see myself sleeping in the Igwe's chamber every night. <clears throat> but I dare not say it. Because if I try it, I'm dead. Like she went too far. Seriously. We are all crushing on the king. But your friend went too far. She really did. She just went too far. Uju, I warned her. Hmm. I told her not to try anything funny. Hmm. But look where her desperation has gotten her. Look at see. the way she was disgraced out of the palace. Hmm. Can you imagine the humiliation? Oh my god. Would you why? It's okay. Would you why now? It's okay. I know she's your friend. It's okay. Will I lose my fiance? Every woman's desire is to get married to the king of the kingdom. Should I stop my fiancé from visiting the palace? Or should I stop trusting her? Will be nothing. Think. Oh. I think I have to do the needful. I know what to do. I I have to get married. I have to get married to to Mirama, my love. Yes. But am I really ready for marriage now? Oh. Uh, come to think of it. Why in the first place 
with a white lion. Ask my woman to... Whatever you do, Minyoma, just know that you will soon get married to Obina. I am not moved by any title or any frivolous things. Of course, you know your family. We are disciplined, and that's all. <laughs> my husband, it has not gotten to that point. My daughter here only said that the business wants her to follow him to somewhere. Right? Yes, Mama. Mm -hmm. So, why are you thinking something different? I am saying it because somewhere down the line, you will start seeing uh, palace cars, palace visitors to offer women here. Just know that all I know is Obina. Eh? Uh -uh, Papa, why are you sounding this way? Besides, everyone knows Obina and I are meant to be together. Yes, but there is a but. I just hope that everything goes as planned. Mm -hmm. If the king said that you should go somewhere with him, you go now. Is that not a huge privilege? Yes, it is. After all your brain cracking and mental exercise, let me make it clear to you that you cannot convince our daughter otherwise. So be careful, woman. Have I? Be careful! I have not said anything wrong here. I have told you. Be careful. <sighs> Mr. Noah. Our Igwe, His Majesty, the White Lion himself, Igwe Ikemba, <laughs> asked me, the owner of this kingdom, to come and present this car to you. <laughs> Frankly, I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what, what, what this car is for, huh? What have I done to deserve the car? I mean, everything which is done in life, every goodwill is based on a, a quid pro quo, give and take. What have I done to deserve the car? My brother, Igwe Ikemba has declared his interest in making your daughter, Miriam, his queen. Yes. You are taking care of my house. And I fell in love with you. Instantly. And since then I have prayed that you come my way. It was here that I... I saw you and I knew your name, Miriam. I want you. I want to build an empire with you. I want my world to revolve around you and your world to revolve around me. I want to be your king. I want you to be my queen. I want to give you my world and put it in the palm of your arms right now. I belong to a man, my lord. I revolve around his world. He is my king, and I am his queen. I want to remain in his kingdom. I am sorry if my words hurt you, my lord. I have never seen such boldness. Forgive me, my lord. You have a man, you say? Honestly, my lord.
I should have known. I should have known that nothing good comes easy. And when you have something really, really good, you hold it close to your heart. You are a good king, my lord. To the best of my knowledge, my daughter Miriamma has an inamorato in a young man called Obinna. They have been courting for some years now, so I'm not taking the car. As for the issue of becoming an in-law to Igwe Ikemba, <laughs> I, I am sorry. I, I really am sorry. Oh, oh no, you know exactly where I am driving at. I'm sorry. I can't take the car. Well, uh, Mr. Onoa, the truth is that our king, the white lion, uh, needs a queen. We know you. We know you as a disciplined man, principled man, and all that. But our king, the king of this kingdom, needs a queen. Of course. And, and he has found your daughter worthy of being the woman after his heart. So, as we speak, they are on a date. With due respect to know, that is not true. I know my daughter. The person you are talking about is not my daughter. I mean, you have to cross-check your fact very well before making this kind of heavy statement. Mr. So Noah, we have checked, we are sure of what we are telling you. I know Miriamma very well. There are not two in this kingdom. She is the only female lecturer this kingdom has ever produced. We know her too well. Yes. And, uh, and uh, the king is very sure of what he is saying. Yes. We all know her too well. And uh, except you want to uh, let us know that you are not interested in becoming part of the goodies about to happen in your family. Um, we have spoken at length. The, the, pre, the peroration is that um, I want to speak with my daughter. Yes, I want to speak with her when she comes back. It's not that I don't like the idea of being an in-law to Igwe Ikemba. But common sense demands that I speak with my daughter and know her mind. After all, I'm not the one who is going to marry. But until then, I'm not accepting the car. I think that's all for it today. You are not going to wear this long face here. Whether you wear it or not, of course, it's not going to change anything. You know I'm not going to support it. Nowhere. Queen or no queen. I'm not a part of it. All I know is Obinna. Yes, Obinna. If Obinna comes to me now and says he is done with our daughter, and I tried my possible best to settle the rift and it didn't work. There's a time I will think otherwise. So you better call your daughter now and tell her that I, the father, wants to see her. Did I say a word here? Did I utter one word here? Hmm. You don't have to utter a word before I understand that you are boiling inside. Am I no longer your husband? How do you know that I'm boiling? How? You are boiling inside, woman. 
because if you, if you were not sitting there, I would have ordered you to go and sit down. Look, let's face it. Every woman will want her daughter to be a queen. Now, what I want you to know is that a queen doesn't necessarily need to be married into a palace. If any man is at peace with his woman, be he a rich man, poor man, old, young, royalty, etc., that man is married to a queen. As it is now, you are my queen, and I am your king. Forget about royalty. So that is the education you have to inculcate into the skull of our daughter. Eh? Forget about material. Don't be carried away by it. Of course, you know I'm not going to support it. But I'm not going to support please, it. Please, please, I've had enough. The king. Look at that. Simply because I did not accept a car gift which to me I know is a bribe from His Royal Highness, Higwe Kemba. Now you are keeping your face as if you had a head-on collision with a trailer. Rubbish. Obi, what is wrong with the car again? Honey, honestly, I do not know. The car just packed me up here. <sighs> again? Again, yes. Have you called the mechanic? I called him. He said he's on his way. Come, so I'm waiting for him. Okay, let's wait for him together then. Eh? Yes, now. And what about the king? Both of you are coming back from somewhere. Please, go and join him. We'll see you later, please. Obim, the king knows I am here with you. I can't go back to him. You're under the sun alone. I have to be here with you now. Please, I don't want trouble. Please, I'm begging you, go back to him. It please. doesn't matter. I will wait. Um, is Anesis still waiting for you, Niska? He asked you to come with me. This meeting is hereby adjourned. None of you should ask why the meeting was adjourned. Because we were all there. I mean, none of you, none of you. Because we were all there. His Majesty is really troubled. And my suggestion is that we should give him a break. Today of all day, are they we fix to meet and finalize concerning the oil discovered on our land? Finalize what? Finalize what? You don't shout on me like that, Mokem. Ichi Ojiofo, what are you finalizing? The king has made he stand known, ab initio, on this matter with clarity that the matter is over. So why are you bringing it up? What clarity are you talking about? I wonder. I'm asking you. What clarity? Listen. Ichi okay, okay. The king has made his mind known in this matter. And we are not ready to go against our king. Yes. We can't disobey our king. 
Because the man is a visionary. We can't disobey him. Yes. So you mean we cannot look into it again, eh? Yes, Bam. We cannot. Bam. That's what you are saying, Ichi or Fondo. Final. Okay. Since we cannot look into it again, it's okay. No problem. Ojofo, we should all be bothered about our king's unhappiness. Yes. We all saw what happened. His mood. Are you not surprised? So we should be bothered. And again, about all this cold pandemonium and all that. What, what, what for? What for? Why? Why all this? Oh no. Yes, we are bothered about the king's mood. Yes, we should also be bothered about the matter of the crude oil discovered on our land. Uh -huh. So the matter has to be brought back. You are totally confused. I will tell you this. Don't you know I'm about to go and choke? Now what is it, the mama? Don't you know I'm about to go and choke? No. No sane man runs after a rat while his house is on fire. Honestly. Eh? You are totally confused. Is it not the same you that was supporting the king? All of you were actually happy that the king has made a fantastic point. Honestly. Then all of a sudden you change like a chameleon. Why the sudden change of mind? Why? And then bringing back a matter that was discussed, concluded, sealed during a meeting concerning our community development. Yes. Why bringing it back? Why? But we also have facts to present. Which fact? Quiet! No, no, why you keep quiet, everybody? Quiet! This matter is closed. It's over. And this kind of meeting will never hold again. Either in the palace or here or anywhere. It is over. I am not satisfied. We will not relent on this. Yes. We have to. We have oil. We have lots of oil in this land. We are richly blessed with these natural resources. No! Akunawa. <laughs> We must revolt. We have to. All uh, right. Ojiafo. Let us see Igwe Okaka first. Yes, because his daughter is failing us by not getting our Igwe to bed to turn his head in our favor. So that we can lay our hands on what we need. Yes. Though I quite agree that... Uh, the white lion has been trying, but there's every need for him to up, to up the stage. Yes, upgrade. We cannot be blessed farmers and still be eating our, our farm products with a common crab. Eh? Now, if you buy a jeep, is there anything wrong? Uh, I need it. I need jeep. If you should build another duplex in addition to your house, will you die? At all. I, I'm, very, I'm very sure that if I should marry another two wives, there's nothing wrong. Or even if you marry extra four, there's nothing wrong. Let us see Igwakaka first. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. You have, you have a good point. Let right, us let's go. Let's yeah. go and see Igwakaka. How that among the others? <laughs> I am not getting married to Igwe Kimba. Who is talking about that? How? I thank you so much for saying that. In fact, I am highly impressed. So, what are you doing? A friend. A friend? Like you are befriending our Igwe. How? Yes, Mama. Igwe Kimba and I are just platonic friends. And that's it. How can anyone think that Igwe wants to make me his queen? Obina is the love of my life and everyone knows that. Yes, we do. We do. I know it. Eh? I said it. I said it. I know my daughter very well. Eh? Now, have you heard it, woman? Have I've you heard it? I've heard it. What's wrong with Mama? Don't mind your mother. Onowu and one elder came here with their car. They told me that Igwe Kemba dashed me a car and wants to make you his queen. I told them to go back with their car until I talked to my daughter 
I'm satisfied now that I've heard from you. Don't mind your mother. You know, I have always told you to follow your mind. I have never been this heartbroken and dismayed, even as a king. My heart almost stopped beating. When Miriamma told me that she has a man, not just a man, but that you are the love of her life. Young man, where are you from? I am from Ikenga Kingdom. Ikenga Kingdom has benefited from my benevolence and kind-heartedness. Over the years, I am sure that you are aware of it. Yes, my lord, I am aware of it. What is your name, young man? My, my name is Obinga. Obinga. I am trying very hard. Very hard. Not to be like King David in the Bible, who had so many women but chose to take the life of Uriah because of his beautiful wife, Bathsheba. You know the story of the Bible, don't you? Yes, my lord, I, yeah, yeah. I know the story. I am going to give you the sum of 1.5 million US dollars. A house in London. All I ask, my friend, is that you go tell the Miriamma that whatever has a beginning must come to an end at some point. And that your heart has stopped beating for her. That she should allow her heart beat for me. I do not think that I've asked for too much, have I? No, 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 my lord. You, you didn't. You didn't ask for too much. Good boy. Run along. Thank you. Why? 
you have taken all my children. This was how I lost all my children. <laughs> Only this one left to go. You want to take this away from us? <laughs> go take me and leave my daughter. Take my life. Take my life and leave my daughter. I cannot bear this. No. God, God, it's true. We should ask you questions, but what am I here for? Why? 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 So my grand is going to get out to the grave with us. Who we pray? The situation is getting worse. I'm afraid we are losing her. Are you serious? Yes. Doctor, can can you run a test on me? If a kidney matches, I'm ready to donate one of my kidneys. Excuse me? Yes. I remember you told me you don't know much about this lady. And why do you want to donate your kidney to a total stranger? Listen, young man, this is a 50 50 thing. You might lose your life on the line. Oh, doctor, I will not die. Don't be scared. Jesus I Christ. Want, I want that girl to leave. Doctor, if anything happens to that girl, her parents may not survive it. Doctor, let me get one thing straight. Are you saying that that taxi driver actually directed? <laughs> yes, he did. In fact, he's at the theater as we speak now. Jess, 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 this is unbelievable. We don't even know this man. Well, madam, you don't need to know someone before they render such a great help. It happened that his kidney is a perfect match to that of your daughter. All you need to do now is just keep praying for him to survive. God. Honestly, doctor, I'm fidgeting for fear of the unknown. Eh? I mean, okay, can we see him? That will be after the operation. Hey, God. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. God. I, I hope he will be all right, doctor. Yes, yes. It will only take a little time. Oh, it's fine. Let me ask you. Thank you. It's all right. I will not relent in praying for you. You will not die. God will keep you. Hey, God will keep you. I don't know for whatever reason you did this for my family. You will never know frustration. You will not die. Oh God. Oh. Oh God. My Lord. Come manifest your power. My God. Manifest your power. Oh Lord. My God, God manifest your power, oh God, my Lord, 
Obina, I know you can hear me. I found out today is your birthday. And I am here to wish you a happy birthday and to say a little prayer for you. I can't wait for you to get back on your feet. I am alive and strong today because of you. You are the angel God sent to my life. I can't wait for you to be well again. It's so painful that I am alive and you still have complications after giving me your kidney six months ago. for God to heal you. You will not die. You're an angel God sent to me. He cannot let you die. You'll be fine. I know that. I know you'll be okay. I know you'll, you'll get well for me. Excuse me, young lady. At this point, he needs enough rest. Please, just allow him to rest, okay? Okay. Yeah. I'll be outside. Thank you. so much and if you love me please don't hurt me
my king. I will be returning to my kingdom. But do not forget what we discussed. I will prove it to you that you are not loved. You are just living in your own world. Do not forget to send my greetings to your father. And tell him that I still stand on my word. Why? Why do you still have this belief that I am here for the purpose of my father's business? How dare you? My king. Please. I did my peace. <laughs> king Ikemba the white lion. Goodbye. Till we see you again. Greetings, Your Majesty. I know you're not fine. Fine. I know you're, you're not comfortable with the king and I. I will quit. I quit in short. I won't go close to him again if that's what you want. Gem, okay, I, I... I think I need, I need space. Some, some, some kind of space for now. Okay. Space? Space for what exactly? Gem, okay, I need to cool off my head. Please. Can you please talk to me? What are you talking about? Share with me whatever it is. Look at you. You're depreciating. You're growing thin. You even drink more than you do. What is going on? Talk to me, please. Nothing is wrong with me. I said I need space. I need time. I need to get focused. I need to ease my head. Nothing is wrong. Just give me space. Come on. Give me space. That's what I asked for. Space. My queen, my queen, why are you crying? Hey, you, the most beautiful girl in Obodoma Kingdom, crying? Hey, hey listen, you are a very rich woman. You are a billionaire. I know that the rich also cry. Mana, you are not just rich. We all know. And I know it. Otenku knows it that you have the pure love of a man in your heart. Not all those ones who are doing chere with a love. Mba. You have pure love. And that is why Chuko Kikia Biyama, mm. he has endowed you with richness. You are not just rich. You are a billionaire. You are crying. Eh? Odima. Cry! Cry the cry of joy, you. Because you are a billionaire. I want you to go home, continue crying, and you'll be crying the cry of joy. If you think we think we just talking anyhow, I'm not drunk. I'm saying what I know. Chuko Kiki Abiyama has ordained you that you are a billionaire. Eh? And Everybody will cry the cry of joy with you. I will cry for you. 
I cry for you. Bilonia. <laughs> How do they cry? The rich. How do they cry? Uh, 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 uh. You said he told you to give him some space. Yes, mommy. I don't know what I did to him. I don't know. <laughs> give him some space now. Dry your tears. Be a strong woman. No, mommy. I will not. talking about. Look, you have to understand when a man said he wants some space and you walk away with your shoulder high. Yes. Don't you want to be the way? A famous and a wealthy one at that. No. You can't possibly be telling me that. You can't. I'm sorry, but... Mommy, please. Don't bot me. And please, I don't want to talk about this again. And if you do, I'll tell daddy about it. Okay, sorry. Please, sorry. just... Hey, I'm sorry. Hey. Look at a girl I'm trying. It's, it's, for, her, it's for her own benefit. Eh? What kind of a girl is this? I am trying to convince her so that she will get into this position. Hey. Me, I'm a cop. Gee, what is it? So just come. Ah, I don't want your parents to hear this. Come. Miriam, I heard from a reliable source in the palace that your very own fiancé, Obina, collected 200 million naira from a weekend. Gee, 200? Jesus, oh. what are you talking about? Hard, Gee, for what exactly? See, hmm. Hmm. and we came back paid him off to leave you alone for him. Yes, he even promised him a house in London. Hey, Chizaram, you're lying, right? I'm not. I had it from the labor source inside the palace. No, this can't be true. No! Who no, are you going to? Who no, am I? Shirt now. How many times I don't want you? Huh? How many times I don't want you say, man, can no they bring different babies to come man? What happened to your house now? Huh? Alpha. Listen, I smoke with you while calling for you. You won't fuck me up. Fuck you up. Ah. Okay, suppose that a woman balling now. Come balling, come to see you with, with another woman. I have what you say she coffee say me, me and me, 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 me babes they do for you. Relax. Relax. Every time you are me, my this one, that one, that one. 
I'm a bad guy. Cool down now. That's not the way I collect for you. One can't spoil her. But wait, you will not enter here before. Enter where? I beg, I don't like, I don't like, I beg. But oh, relax now. I don't tell you, I beg. Alpha, how you work happy now? Try make it a good down, no, make it no good to hell you. My man. Are they coming? Ah. Greetings, sir. Greetings. His Majesty King Ikemba, the White Lion, said I should bring you to the palace. I hope all is well. I wouldn't know until we get to the palace. Okay. You know I won't go like this. So let me change into something better. you told me you wanted huh? after everything our love our promises so this is it right what is going on <laughs> i am lost what is it you saw the love you told me was priceless you couldn't wait you took another woman in into our house Oh, so I, I am confused. Don't touch me! I am confused. <laughs> so our love. I mean, to who? I mean, I, I, I can't possibly do that. See, it was Ikenna that brought a girl to my house. I Just shut it! Shut it! You cannot even lie! Look at you! You can't lie! Connie, can you just listen to me? I, I, I didn't... Please just get out of my house. Leave. I don't want to see you ever again. Just go. Connie, come on. You can't. I said you should get out. I don't want to see you again. Leave my house. Leave. Go now. My daughter said you should go. Calm down. Just go. My wife is going on. I can't hurt her. She means a lot to me. Okay, just respect her. Now. Go. 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 <laughs> Obina, go! You're upsetting her the more. Just go! Set up and leave the house! Keep your house! Go! Go now! <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of utmost sincerity, I did not reject your gift. To the contrary, it is highly appreciated. Rather, what I told the Uno is that I need to hear from my daughter. You know, there's this uh, proverb by our people that the mother hen <laughs> always insists on mammalizing beating very well its prey before it starts eating so as to avoid choking. Mazionwa. <laughs> Igwe. I have fallen deeply in love with your daughter. 
and I need you to help me convince her. For I want to make her my queen. Marzi, if you do so, it would be a gesture that I would not forget for the rest of my life. I am willing to give you another gift of 4 million naira in cash just to show you how serious I am. For I am in dire need to make your daughter Miriama the next queen of this beautiful kingdom. The happiness of my daughter and the choice of her life partner is of utmost importance to me. Oh, uh, you know she's the only child I have. But that does not translate to the fact that I will force upon her something that she does not want for herself in her life. To put it succinctly, my daughter has a young man with whom she's seriously in love. Marzi, Marzi, uh, <laughs> Your Highness, Marzi, it would interest you to know that I have met man in my lifetime, man of timber and caliber. You have beautiful daughters, kings of all the communities. You have beautiful daughters. They all come here searching for my heart, doing all they can to lure me into bed. Some of them come bearing gifts, but I have fallen for your daughter, for I see her as the perfect queen. Of this kingdom. It baffles me why you have decided to be a hard nut to crack. Your Highness, I am sorry. Uh, uh, you can see my hands are tied. To tell myself the truth, because I will always tell myself the truth before telling another person. If I promise you that I am going to influence, let alone convincing my daughter, when it comes to a connubial matter, I am being economical with the truth. I see. To hear what my eyes saw today. 
What did you like to say? I saw Igbo Kaka and our king, the white lion, confronting themselves. <laughs> it's normal now for men to fear. It's not normal though. With a gun. Egbe? Yes. No, our Igwe is not dead. It is it, today I knew that our Igwe is a very strong man. He has his supernatural power. Do you know that Igwe Kaka and his boys were shot at him? They shot at him, but he did not penetrate. Obaro. Obaro. Uh -huh. I said it. You said what? I said it. Igwe Ikemba is a ritual. Hey! Don't even try it. Our king is a good man. Ah. I'm not disputing the fact that he's a good man. But use your common sense. Where does he bring millions of naira he shares everything? Ah. Stop saying this now. Eh? You know his late father owns big companies in London, Australia. Germany and the other countries. Wow. What are you saying? It's father. Yes, like a again. If for the man did you see it with your eyes? I don't even know why I'm here to, to, to telling you telling you the, the news I saw today. Mm. Nonsense. You did not see it. Hey, hey, please. Ah, we are not even going. Don't to. be confused. I beg. So I, I cook to if you want to eat. Go I eat your you food. You're hungry. Why, why will you even come and be telling me such a news? They're ritualists. My lord, I, I cannot, I cannot trade my love for Miriam. I, I, I love her so, I love her so much. She's priceless. Please, my lord. Please. Spare me. I, I know you have the power to... to do whatever you want to do. I, and, and I, I can't even do an, anything. But please, my, my lord, listen to to you in a good mind. I am an orphan. A very poor one for that matter. Please, Miriamma is my love. She's my soul. She's all I have worked, labored, and lived for. Please, my lord, I, I I don't want you to to get angry. But I, I, my choice of words, please. Please, my lord. I'll offer you another hundred million naira. Please, do not put me to test. Please, don't put me to test. I love me real, my head. I can leave her. Please, I. of our land, 
Please help me. I need your help. Now. More than ever. Please. Help me. And continue to bestow on me the wisdom required of a king. Help me. Miroma. We are here with this khaki on behalf of the king, the entire people of Obodoma Kingdom. We are begging you, please accept the khaki and have a change of mind. Our king is a good man. He, he deserves a good woman. He deserves the best. He deserves an intelligent woman, decent woman, like you, Miroma. Please. He has never been this emotional. Kindly accept. Do not say no to this, because if you do, it will affect his heart. And he could go down. I know what I'm saying. Please. Uh, please. Please. We please. are begging you. Don't turn this our demand. Don't turn it down. Please. 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 Oh? Please. Miriam. Miroma. The true beauty of her mother. The eyes of an angel. The queen herself. The goddess of beauty. You have come to the point of making the entire people of this kingdom proud. Happy and joyful that they have found their way. Be the special gift to our king because you are a special person. My daughter, I want you to follow your heart. In whatever choice you make, you know I will always stand by your side. That's all. Marry the king. <coughs> Obina, he's the love of my life. I promise to love you for the rest of my life. I promise. I promise. 
I know you never trade our love for anything. I believe you. I... I trust you. I rejected the money he gave to me. To leave you. God will never leave you. I will stand by you. Till the end of time. I love you. You're my lover. You're my my love for you is not for sale. Come up, pull up, come up, pull up, you're my lover. Well, she has made her choice. It's as clear as the daylight. Nothing any of us can do about it. Your Majesty, uh, this is so disappointing. It is unfortunate she rejected to be your queen. Chai, how will someone reject such an offer? This is unheard of. Unbelievable. History this, has been made. This is really strange. <laughs> Poor people with pride. <laughs> <coughs> they call it dignity. <laughs> 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 Right? <laughs> somebody, somebody help! Somebody help! Somebody help! Your Majesty! Yeah. Yeah, well. What am I hearing in my ear? Don't hear nonsense. Do you understand me? Utenku must not hear nonsense. What? 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 What am I hearing? My own Igwe. The white lion sick on the bed. So what happens? <laughs> Otenku, what happens to your allowance? Allowance? I know what has happened. It is the mach evil machination of those red cap chiefs. Oh, you think you can get me? You can never get me. You red cap chiefs. If you go, if you go, Otenku, you are above them. You are above them. Oh, they want to take away the king. My baby, a baby I carried in my hands. They want to take him away from me. Oh, mommy. Never! You will have me to contend with. None of you will see my back. Over my dead body will I allow my Ikemba to go just like that. Or then go we deal with all of you. All, all of you. Moa. Igwe, Ikemba, get up. I am coming as your doctor to save you. The king. Our king. Has a kidney failure. Hey! Hey! This is terrible. So terrible and so serious that both kidneys were affected. Jenga lie. You are a liar. Mana continue. Will you shut up? And who asked you to be here? Ngiwa! Evil man! They are telling me to shut up! That is okay. Enough! It's okay now. And why will he say the doctor is lying? Is he a doctor? Is he a physician? A drunken idiotic man like you. Eh, you call me drunken idiotic. It is that your son that our Igwe sent abroad. After removing him from jail, that it's idiotic. He is stupid. He's drunken. He's drunkard. He's drunken and drunken idiotic. Do, do you know? Enough, I said. Enough. What is wrong with both of you? In a situation like this. Can you imagine? Uh, please, doctor. Ignore all this. No problem. Um, uh, which way forward, please? What do we do? How do we, how do we rescue our king? He must not die. Exactly, that's what I'm here. At this point, what do we do? 
Uh, what we need to do, we need a donor. <sighs> donor. Doctor. Eh? Uh, doctor, what do you mean by we need a donor? It simply means that we need somebody from this kingdom to donate his kidney. That's what we need so that we can save the life of our king. Um, um, doctor. Just please, eh? cut it down. Wali you go there, while you can go TV, because I got that sort of me. There is no other way I'm going to explain it, except this one I've explained right now. What we need is kidney transplant. We need somebody to come up, whether it's a female or a man, to come up, so that we can ascertain your medical um, possibility. Yeah, yeah. Here I am. Take my... Look, there's one kidney here, there's kidney here. Remove everything, take every part of my body. Let my lion, white lion, be alive. You understand me? Doctor, take every kidney. Wherever you see them, just take them away. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, it's okay. Oh, thank you. That's okay. Uh, please, doctor, ignore all this, like I said earlier. No problem. We are not going to take Otenko's kidney. He's drunk in kidney. No. For what? Look, look, the pertinent question here is what are we going to do? Let us get somebody, or let, let, let somebody volunteer. That's the best way to be instead of this second man badge. I have volunteered my kidney. What else do you want, doctor? Shut up, maybe. See, kid, take this kidney away. Allow him. If he says he wants to donate his kidney, let him go ahead. That might even kill our ego faster. Let him go ahead. Uh, please, doctor. Uh, one more time, I plead. Please ignore all this. No problem. Um, we will get back to you with time. Uh, allow us some time to sort out things. And uh, we have we have children, we have people, we have sons and daughters who can donate kidneys, even any other part of the body. So uh, uh, give us some time to um, sort things out and get back to you. Thank you, my elders. Doctor, their evil plan will not work. Come and remove this kidney. Remove everything. This man, shut up. Remove the whole kidney. What is your problem? Hey, you are not serious. I can't be more serious than this, Akoma. Hawaii very seriously needs a kidney donor at the moment. He is dying, to put it more succinctly. No, 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 no. Someone, especially the youth, they have to swing into action immediately. Hmm? More importantly, those ones that he helped to better their lives. This is the time for them to save our king from the cold hands of death. Well, uh, Onowu says that he will summon an emergency meeting to that effect. Mm -hmm. okay. You see? Uh, meanwhile, I actually excused myself to come and catch some breath. Eh? So if there is something comestible, please. Get me to eat. Just say something to eat. All this your big, big grammar. Okay, comestible. Okay. Oh, it's just the same thing. Eh. Comestible and the eatable. Please do the one you want. Is you it beans you want or uh, swallow? What Anything you, you give me, even if it is poison. No, I will not poison my husband. <laughs> uh, then go and do it and pronto. I mean, immediately. Oh, uh, oh. Hey. Mm. Uh, all these hesitations are. Uh, in the, in the face of emergency. Ah, so tell me, when did you return home? I came back last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. So you came back for the village festival? Yes, yeah, so look at you. You're not looking bad at all. You're not looking bad too. Thank you. <laughs> Imagine me. I now own two plots of land in the city. You serious? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. God has used the great white lion to bless all of us. I'm, I'm doing well too and you're doing well. Hmm. I'm happy to hear that. I'm forever indebted to our king. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, um, before we answer um, the elders call, can we just hang out somewhere, you know, maybe take one or two bottles, talk more about each other before we go answer them? Of course, I'm free. Okay? You're good? <laughs> yeah, I'm So free. let me open the door for you. All right, thank you. <laughs> He 
is this not is this not funny? <laughs> is it not funny? Let none of our sons or daughters attend that meeting. Yes? For what? Ha! My son just returned from the city for the festival. I will stage him not to come out at all. Better. Ah! My son cannot be a donor so that they will leave only one kidney for him. Oh. Hey, that cannot happen. Okay. Even me, Ichi Ojiofo, assuming I have three kidneys, I cannot donate one, one for him. If he likes to die, let him die. Don donate him. what? Kidney. Donate what? Kidney. Listen, I have instructed my children to remain in the city. Uh -huh. They should not come to this side. As a matter of fact, they should not... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's not too much. For your sake, nothing is too much. Come on, this is too much. How many people are going to finish two bags of rice? You know, two... oh, Honey, for your sake, okay? <laughs> nothing... Chisara. Hey, Mioma. Ah, Chisara, what is it? Hey! Mioma. Igwe Ikemba collapsed doing a meeting in the palace. What? Collapsed? How? The doctor diagnosed him of kidney failure. Oh my god. His kidney is badly damaged. Hey. But how? Why? What happened? The elders are looking for a kidney donor. As I'm talking to you right now, the villagers has asked their sons and daughters not to come back to the kingdom for now. Hmm. This situation is high as a high tension. Hmm. But why? Why would they do that? Are you sure? Even my uncle has asked his son to leave the village immediately. His son that Igwe Kemba sponsored his business with 5 million naira. And he has no option than to obey his father. As I'm speaking to you right now, he has left the village. That's too bad. That's too bad. A kidney donor. Hey! <sighs> Oh my God, my husband, this is not true. Hey. You see, honey, unfortunately it is true. You see, all the youth, all of them, they denied us a helper. Not even one person. What is this? Not single person, not one. What? You see this world, this world we are living in. It is good for one to fall sick sometimes, so that you know who is who. Hey. Eh? People are very, very ungrateful. All right. I thought by the time I'll get to that very palace, I will see a crowd of people pushing each other. Eh? Men, women, old, young, trying to donate their, their, their kidneys. So they are evil because of his benevolence. But you know what? The reverse was the case. So, Papa, what are they going to do now? Are they going to fly him abroad? Miriam, my daughter, the Onohu said that we should wait a bit to see whether there will be a youth, at least one youth, who will come as a result of second touch to come and donate his kidney so, so as to save the life of Igwe? This is unbelievable. So not even from our neighboring kingdom. Are they not aware? All the people he touched their lives one way or the other, none could donate his kidney. Everyone is scared. And in fact, some of them are not even interested. But I saw Otenko crying and lamenting that he wants to donate his kidney, if possible, all his body parts. But they refused him. 
Honey, let's talk of people that matter. Eh? Otemp, even if he has succeeded in giving his uh, kidney a word, it would have been detrimental to the health of the king. A drunkard like him, his kidney must have been uh, you know, riddled with uh, kidney sclerosis because of uh, too much of alcohol. Eh? We are talking about the youth here. The youth who have benefited from the benevolence of the white lion himself. Eh? The Igwe has flown most of them to various parts of the globe to, 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 to better their lives. Eh? Most of them wouldn't have had the opportunity of seeing the, 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 the wheel of an aircraft, let alone entering inside it. Yet he did it for them. And I was even surprised that they did not mention it even in the village was a platform. Oh. It is that bad. What a kingdom. Sad. So, so sad. My darling. <laughs> I remember telling you that no one in your kingdom cares about you. But you never believed me. You didn't. <laughs> so sorry about my manners. <laughs> I remember telling you that Miriamma will never sacrifice her life for you all, son. Neither will I, my darling. <laughs> King Ikemba, you are dying slowly. And there is nothing you or anyone can do about it. Rubbish. You are ready to sacrifice your life for the king. What do you mean by you can't? I said I can't donate my kidney. And please, don't ask me such stupid questions again. <laughs> you can't you do it? Uh, can you imagine? Why are you even attacking her? Uh, eh? I never said, I never said I was going to die for a king. Mm. She was the one chanting and saying that she, she, she wished to sacrifice her life. She wished to prove her love for the king. Now we need a kidney donor. You've suddenly gone mute. You are mad. I don't blame you. Oh, you want me to go and die? Excuse me. Beto, she was the one that said she wanted to sacrifice her life for the king. Oh, you think it's by cleaning his chambers? Idiot. Oh, wait, though. The youth of this village baffles me. So not even one beneficiary could come out to donate his or her kidney for the king. This yes. is strange. This, this, this is not good. Huh. This is not good. This is strange. Did you see the kind of cars they came in here My with? My sister is so... Showing off cars to tell us that they've made it in life. Huh? Ah. Hey. Now, wow. Life no balance. Though. At all, my sister. No balance at all. Helping human being a scam. Big scam. Scam! Huh. Who be lying? Hello? What are you with? I should donate my kidney? No! Did I hear you correctly? Oh no. Why are you forcing people to donate? And why are you even forcing her to donate her kidney? What happened to your own kidney? Or oh, don't you have kidney? Is it not good for donation as well? Tell me! Well, I, 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 listen. Let the chairman listen to me. No, I do, I can't get 
I have every right to bark like a mad dog, but that's not the issue. No one is asking you to donate your own kidney, no. All we are asking you to do is to use your personality, pave the way, carry us along, reach out to at least our children, at least those that have benefited from Ikemba's care initiative. That is what we are saying. That is just what we are saying. Oh no. With all due respect, I cannot do that. I cannot do that. Then I will revoke your position in this palace. Whatever right you have here, I will revoke it. I will do that. You can't do that. I can do that. Oh no, you cannot do that. I, the Prime Minister of this kingdom, can do that. I am the chair lady. And you have no right, no position that gave you the right to seize our oppression. You cannot do that. I can do that. Oh no, hold on. I, I don't understand what is going on here. Why do I have this feeling that we are faced with a difficult prospect of helping our own? The almighty king you all profess. A man you say you loved. At this critical time, nobody is willing to donate. Let me just make it very clear to everybody, in case if you are too blind to see. If within one week nothing is done, the king will die. From the medical point of view, even if, by, by any way, by the grace of God, the king makes it in a week time, I am not sure the king is going to make it in the upper week. And all of us are seated here arguing over how to help a man that we claim we love so much. Oh no, who is one side arguing? The lady is one side arguing. What is going on? Why are we fighting over it? No use. Hello, oh, no, I am asking you. No use. I beg my sons. I beg, I beg, I beg. They refused. I told them, it's just a kidney. It wouldn't kill. None of them agreed. Okay, bring money. Let us look for a donor. They refused. Hey, is this how our ego will die? But no. Do you know that since I brought this issue up in my family, my children stopped talking to me? They stopped picking my calls. All of them. Oh no, I understand how you feel. And I would want you to calm down. You are a man. You need to, you need to calm down. Doctor, doctor uh, you, you want to understand. Uh, uh, can you please take my <laughs> No, 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 it doesn't work that way. It doesn't. You are weak. You can't just possibly take your, your own kid. It's not possible. Uh, do anything possible, anything you can to save the life of my king, please. Please. Uh, I, I, this, this is out of it, please. I understand. Uh, I understand. We are doing everything possible. We are trying our best to see how we can fly him out of this country. The only constraint we have is that there is no time. And that is what I'm saying. Everybody, they have all deserted the king. Everyone has run away. Even the chiefs, all the chairs deserted our king. Please. Do whatever you can, please. Can you take my own kidney and save my king? Like I said before, it's not possible for us to do that. But I will want you to take things easy. <laughs> Doctor, it is not possible to calm down when you cannot calm down. Understand it. I, I do. P please. No, no. People will laugh at us. You don't, you don't need to begin to consider what people will say. Because even if you do the right thing or the wrong thing, people will still laugh at no, you. No, no, no. Okaka, to be the king of this kingdom? No. No. Doctor, no. People should not laugh at us. Please do the best you can. Save my king. We'll try our best. Calm down. Doctor, doctor, please. Find a way to adjust the system. Take my kidney, please. Just calm down. 
Doctor, take my kid. I, I understand the curiosity. Just calm down. You won't understand. I do. It is not possible to calm down where you cannot calm down, Doctor. That, that's what I'm saying. No, no. Why is Lai not going? We need to seal up this deal tonight. Hmm? Father, why did you do it? What I do or did not do is not subject to be questioned by you. Why did you have to go this far? Hmm? Is it for the money? Power? Or for the fact that there is a man whose will you cannot bend? If you cannot suffer this victory with me, then you shut up. I need to know why you did that to King Ikemba. He is going to die. You are my father. I need to know why the man that betted me is so evil. Evil! Father, please, tell me. I need to know. At this moment, you don't speak to your father. You speak to your king. And do you dare question your king? Get out of my room before I lose my temper! Get out! Your friend and king is dying. You left him to die. I thought you loved him. My king will not die. And yes, I love him. And you can't change that fact. So, why are you scared? Hmm? Go and see him. You know you are going to die. You are scared of death. Huh? I will not die. No, my darling, you will die. You will die because I know that you have just one kidney. One. Oh! You are surprised on how I got to know. I am a wealthy princess. If I snap my finger like this, every information I want concerning anyone will fall begging at my feet. <laughs> Obina here gave you one of his kidney and saved you from death. Hmm? And that is why you love him so much to the point of not listening to all the love words and feelings of your king. <laughs> hmm. I thought as much. I asked myself, who is this woman that will reject a handsome, intelligent, rich and famous king like King Ikemba. <laughs> I must confess, it has been such a long time. I've not seen a woman that has such courage, such determination towards her man. Kudos to you, my darling. You and not a cheat. You have to leave now, princess. 
Your wedding is in two days. Congratulations. My Lord, Igwe, be strong. You are the white lion, the Gaji Ejemba. I see the girl go be near you and help you. You cannot bow out this way. For if you do, the vulnerable animals will fear for their lives. But can I wait and hear for number? Okay, get a GC and Yoko. Dicker Jan, you see. Be brave. Be strong. Keep breathing. What? If your spirit, your soul, becomes weak and weary, then I may not have any choice than to do the needful. Makona bundu di abia wa hando kanga ba kaya. I will have no choice than to do the needful. <sighs> My fellow elders, I greet you all. Our people say a stitch in time saves now. It is only when you actually don't know what you are doing. That is when what you don't know how to do will elude you. I want to announce to all of us here without <coughs> wasting our time. We the elders representing the three villages of Obodoma. I have agreed without missing words to enthrone Chief Agu here as our next Igwe after the demise of the White Lion. <laughs> what you mean? How dare you open your mouth and vomit that load of rubbish? When cabinet member like me have not even thought of that. The truth of the matter here is that you don't even have any authority whatsoever to change what we have decided in this palace. You are just an auxiliary cabinet member. Have you forgotten that? You called who an auxiliary cabinet member? How dare you? How dare you call me an auxiliary cabinet member? You are an auxiliary cabinet member. Uh, you are the down. one. If I should be afraid of uh, animals with horns, uh, let you walk on now. Shut up. Let you walk on now. Enough. Enough. Enough of this. I will dislocate your jaw. You Sit cannot. Down. Sit down. Sit down. Why are you doing this? Huh? Are you kids? The Igwe is dying. Jacketating inside the chambers on his sick bed, and you all are here huffing and puffing. Yes, 
that how you do your meeting here in the palace? Eh? I mean, that, that's quite preposterous. Here we should be talking about the solution. Not even about trying to enthrone another Igwe. One of our local pro, uh, uh, proverbs, he says that uh, 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 a tree should not still be alive and people start talking about harvesting mushroom on its trunk. Yes. That is bad. I took an exception to that. So let everybody behave in herself. Look, you are not even a cabinet member. Uh -huh. So you have to keep quiet and listen. Our yeah. Igwe is dying, according to his doctor. Yes. Like I said earlier, we have agreed to enthrone Chief Aku here as our next Igwe after the demise of the Westland. Excuse me, Mr. Cabinet Member. Assuming our Igwe did not kick the bucket at the end of the day, what will you do? I kept quiet because I am not the kind of person that barks like a mad dog. Not me. I remember what my father told me in those old good days. That no na boko sisi daluana wanye feyenu. Unfortunately, that is true. When a mighty tree falls, a woman crosses the tree fearlessly. Are you trying to tell me that both of you? We had the God to rise and face each other, talk back at each other, almost wanting to fight each other. If the king, if the king, if the white lion is strong and standing or sitting on his throne, can you do that? Hi. You are staring at me. Betrayer. Can you do that? You cannot, of course. Betrayer. It's quite unfortunate for both of you. However, I, as the prime minister of this kingdom, Hereby declare this meeting baseless, useless, nonsense, Mbalo. and closed. Mbalo, no, 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 we cannot have with all due respect. You cannot do that. In fact, you can't even say that. The Council of Iches have elected me as their next Igwe. Sure. Instead of thinking of how to crown me as the next king. You, you are here doing all this. In fact, if you don't want to crown me, Igwe Okaka will do that. I am the Prime Minister of this kingdom and the Kingmaker. Oh. And I have said it. Oh. This meeting, as far as I'm concerned, as far as Obodoma Kingdom is concerned, is oh. baseless, useless, and nonsense. Oh, oh I, I see. You want to be crowned the king so you can now come for our oil and sand. You. Oh. This sort of meeting will never repeat itself. Onogu is a very stupid, hopeless, huh? and useless human being. Just imagine. I don't blame him because he's as short as Pitakula. If not, if not, why will Onogu disagree with our decision that Chief Ako should become the next Igwe? Eh? Who is contending that? Who? Oh no, who cannot? None of the Igwe and Council members can. Eh? But whether they like it or not, Chifako is going to become a Igwe. And none of them can do anything about it. Oh no, who is a very stupid man and he knows it, of course. Why are you even bothering yourselves? Chief Aku is going to be our next Igwe. Sure. All we need to do now is pray so that the Igwe dies immediately. Ah. Thereafter, we install Chief Aku as our next Igwe. Ah. Simple as that. As for Ikemba, we don't need to pray about him. He's going to die either this night or tomorrow morning. He will become a dead. The, the stupid or no, what he has failed to know is that once Chief Ako becomes our next king, yes. windows of prosperity open to our our, com, our yes, community. Exactly. A lot of opportunities. A lot of opportunities we call. Yeah. And look at him walking, walking like walking like tortoise. Don't Who is he? Don't As a matter of fact. Yes, not the, uh, it is not between us and, and him. Oh, yes. If he thinks that 
Such people, because he has, is it because he has the opportunity to become the know? And the truth is, hey, once she fakko, just look at it. The, 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 yes, eh? we have, we have windows. Of This money is from Shifako. <laughs> he said he's very glad that the three of us, the three important men, yes. I mean, the three wise men of this great kingdom are on his side. <laughs> exactly. We are solidly behind him. <laughs> you know, Igwe Kimba is dead. Or do I say he's almost dead? Ah, he will soon die. And custom demands that when an Igwe is packing up to join his ancestors, yes. someone should be warming up. Exactly. We must crown Shifako. That's it. Imagine a king in this modern era. Uh -huh. Just how can he reject the beautiful offer from Igwe Okaka? I imagine. Then that means he does not want our kingdom to be recognized as one of the oil producing kingdoms. Of course, that's it. He wants to deny us of the good benefits that will come from the government. And that is the more reason we should fight hard, push hard for us to achieve this project. My elders, I greet you. You are welcome. This is my take on the matter. Before I the youth leader of this kingdom will mobilize youths to converse for Chifaku to become the next king of this great kingdom. He will have to give us a sum of 3 million naira and also sign that the money that will be gotten from the oil will not only go to his pocket. Rather, each and every one of us here will benefit from it. You have spoken wisely. This is a very good recommendation you have just made. Thank you. <laughs> uh, My youth leader, you have spoken well. Course. You have nothing to fear. Hmm? Everyone, I repeat, everyone will be adequately taken care of, especially those within the inner caucus that are pushing, <laughs> eh? yes. pushing and fighting for the success of this project. That's good to hear. The lion, the light that shines so bright amongst his people, the river that never dries. Yes, you are the Lord, you are the King, you are everything your people see in a ruler. But you must remember, behind every progressive man, there is a beautiful woman. Behind every progressive man, there should be a wise and accommodating woman. You are beginning to hate my people too much, Julie. And I ask you today, what have my people done to you? I never hated your people or hate your people. They are my people as well. I am the first lady in this kingdom as far as leadership is concerned. All I am telling you is for you to be careful with these people. 
You have to be careful with these men, for they are like ungrateful Jews in the land. Well, be their Jesus, they will still crucify you. I wouldn't want my Lord to feed these vipers that will still stink you tomorrow. You are the viper. You are the viper. Juliana, anyone who tries to come between me and the love I have for my people is a snake. You are the viper. Well, I see a dark future looming. I see these people craving, striving, and praying so hard for you to be pulled out. I am the white lion. I am Igwe Ikemba. I am indestructible. Juliana, today I bring an end to this union, for you are not qualified to be the queen of this kingdom. I beg your pardon. You are going to be hearing from my lawyers. Get your things together and leave the palace at once. Oh my gosh! It came! It came back! grew from tender just like a seed that grew and blossomed into a beautiful love story I know you don't want to see me cry or say some hurtful words You have always been my friend. You have always been my love. You have always been my everything. The lion that shields my heart with boldness and confidence. I will never let you turn your face from your people. I will always pray for you. I will continue to pray that your people don't turn their faces against you where you need them most. about you. I will always be there for you. Whether you call me or not. May you reign forever. My Lord.
my hero, the White Lion. Your Majesty. The office of the First Lady of this Kingdom. The Queen of Obodama is hereby closed indefinitely. Uh, uh, your Majesty. Oh no. I am not going to dwell on this matter. Please. I, I'm sorry. So sorry, Your Majesty. Is that okay? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. They leave their imprints on the sands of time. They are the pillars and lifters of all the men. Deacon, the white lion, your authors and more. The world needs you now more than ever. We all miss you, our great stallion. We all can't wait to have you back on your feet again. We love you. I No. Why we are here mm. tonight is to let you know that if anything happens to our king, if we look for our king, we don't see him. Maybe he joins his ancestors untimely. We will then submit your name to Ezemu as our next king. Okay, hi, Bia. Um, oh no, let me say it outrightly to the hearing of everybody here now that I have no interest at all 
for becoming the next eagle of this kingdom. And as a matter of fact, I am praying fervently for the quick recovery of my Igwe. Believe me when I say this, that I have a very strong faith that Igwe Kemba is not going to die. If he dies, means I'm going to abdicate my religion. My dear brother, do not talk like that. We are only with a passing phase in this cruel world. Everybody, I mean everybody, we answer the Creator at the appointed time through either illness or sudden death. So, what I am telling you now is that amongst all the mortals in this kingdom, you are the only one that we have found to be honest. This is what I want you to know right now. I am not ready to take up that task. And he will come back. He's not going to die. One does not boil hot water, believing he will fall down from a tree. So, my brother, we should not decide for the gods. But I have always said it with confidence that that good man is not going to die. We are all confused, yes. But we have to relax our minds, pray, make sacrifices, and continue seeking for solution. The palace may be divided, but it's my prayer that that doesn't lead to anarchy. Um. Mazo no. Yes. We can always say anything we feel like saying. But the truth naturally remains what it is. Let me tell you this. Ichi Okeke and others came out so plainly for us to understand that they truly are the flies that perch under the scrutiny. But I tell you, naturally and chemically, they will pay for all their deeds. Definitely. I, the Unu of this kingdom, will not watch Ichiaku become the king of this land. Eh, eh. Onaheme. It does not happen. It is not possible. The Aku in question is so close a friend to Igbo Okaka, remember? And it is a pre-planned arrangement to bring Aku as the king of this land so that he can defile our land and grant an opportunity for Igbo Kaka to become a force, a strong force over us in this kingdom, which is not possible. My elders and husbands, please do not relent in striving for peace. Yes. For the sake of our children mm -hmm. and posterity, That's I why. beg of you. Um, That's exactly what we are doing. And I don't think uh, there will be war. No, I don't. There won't be any no, no. Good. At the end, I believe the wheat will be separated from the chaff. Mm. That's yes. one thing I know. Thank you. Thank you for your pacifist stand. And again, and again, I believe the good man is not going to go down. <sighs> you 
have been told not to dictate for the gods, for you are not the gods. The gods see, Father, they know better. Mad madness! What? You have only one! My only child! But hey, I want to do what? You, you want to kill us? You won't do it! No! You cannot do it! Miroma! I will give my king my only kidney. No! You are king! If I die, I die. Hey! Hey! You think about us? Miroma, come here! This is this child. No, you is this child? Is this child? Mary! Mary! This girl won't kill me. Hi. I don't know what I... has come up over this very girl. You didn't bring her back. I couldn't catch up with her. She was running like the wind. I don't know what has come over this child. Are you sure she is not possessed? I don't know what has come, up, come over her. What does she want us to do in a time like this? This time of the night, where do we look for her now? Just one kidney. Why am I repeating these lines to you over and over again, my dear friend? Will you die for him? Will you? Nah, 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 nah. Because, my darling, your wedding is very close. But hold on. How can you be alive and watch your king? Die very slowly, slowly and painful. You are weak and helpless, just like your friend and every other person in this kingdom. You're not my princess, if I must say. You are infringing. My dear lecturer, go and save the king. Your king. <laughs> or die for him so that your man can marry a beauty like me or any other woman. I challenge you. I challenge you to die for the king. Die for the white lion. Again. Don't listen to that princess. Don't listen to her. Mima, she's a loser. A very big one at that. Mima, please, I am begging you. 
I am pleading as your friend. Don't listen to her, please. <laughs> you, you have you have to force it to learn. <laughs> I, I think it's, it's so funny. Oh let's let's <laughs> that, that was so funny. You know? <laughs> Who knows where the young man will be by now? Mm. 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 I think I need my <laughs> <laughs> let me laugh, let me laugh, laugh. I tell myself. <laughs> I don't want to get. I don't drink. I, I don't want to get. That's not my fault. I don't want to get. Let me have my. What's this? I don't want to get. <laughs> you think you think you're all <laughs> 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 going nowhere? I'm what tired. do you mean to do now? Do you have to carry me because I'm How tired? How can I carry? I can't carry you on my back. Bro. Romantic carrying. Oh, come on. I keep romantic. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. What do you? All right, fine. Don't worry. Let me clean it up. Girl, you're my angel, you're my darling angel. I will clean you up, you will never guess it. <laughs> okay, now you don't want to back me. Can I carry you? Yes. And what if I can't carry you? Carry me! Well, what if I can't do it? Alright, let's see. Mm. Jump. Ah, look at that. You're so light. I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw you. <laughs> ah, ah, I'll throw you off now. If you don't. Come. This is not the hub. Why did she fall that way? What is the meaning of this dream? I hope all is well with her. I'm so sorry. I'm in a lot of pain. Uh, uh, nothing will happen to you, Your Majesty. Nothing. I know. I'm in so much pain. Nothing will happen to you, Your Majesty. You will live long. <laughs> Please. Take my kidney and save my king. Please, Doctor. Oh no. Please. Doctor, please do it now. 
Doctor, please, Doctor, Doctor, please. Take my only kidney and save my king. I beg you. Do it now, Doctor. Do it now. Do it now. <laughs> You will not die, my king. Please hang in there. Hang on, my king. Instead of you to die, I'd rather die. <laughs> Don't go, my king. You're not going anywhere. I'd rather die than let you go. Don't go, my king. Please. Don't go anywhere. Let me go instead, please. I beg you. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Don't. Madam, are you coming? Yes. Are you the taxi driver? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, where are they going? Um, I'm going to Bodoma Kingdom. Oh, Bodoma, Bodoma, Bodoma. Okay. 3,000 naira, ma'am. 3,000? Okay, yes. that's too much now. Ha, ha. Okay, I'll pay you one five. Ah, one five too small, though. For this economy now, for this country. Ha. A little of fuel. How much for a little of fuel? I never let us buy. Okay, make it not be so again too much. You don't call me, you don't call me. Um, 2,500, man. That's... Ah, 2,500 is too much. Okay, let's do 2,000. Huh. Auntie, no vex. <laughs> okay, okay, just hold on. Madam, are you okay? Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Said that she would be coming back since yesterday. But up till now, she's not here. Mm. Let's be patient. She will be here. I know, I know. I have the faith that she must come. Patient? Her line suddenly went off. She can't be reached. Ah, I am beginning to be worried though. Eh? You know, she complained about her health issues all through last week. I am worried. I am more. Like I said, let us wait. Let's be patient. We will not know exactly what the problem is all about until she gets here. It's this huh? one that one cannot reach out before. That is why I'm so worried. Oh, please, don't walk up yourself. Eh? Don't raise your blood pressure unnecessarily. She will be here. Okay? Oh, oh. Who is it? Is it me or my, our daughter? Hey! It's our daughter. It's our daughter. Oh my god. Minim! Our daughter. Is it? Hey, our daughter. Eh? Minim! What is wrong? Uh -uh. What is wrong with her? I what is wrong? Know. I don't know. You can't make it. What is wrong with you? You can't make it. Don't make it. Don't say that again. You can make it. You can make it. Hey! Jesus. What is wrong? What is wrong? What is wrong? Come on. Let's get up. 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 Let's get up.
Hey! 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 Doctor, please help us. She is the one child, the only child we have. Please, the only one. Help us. She um, must not die. Um, madam, madam, calm down, okay? Calm down. Like I said, we need a donor now. Her kidneys are bad, really bad. We need at least one kidney to save her life. Hey! Uh, doctor, are you saying that if we don't get a donor, that she may likely die? <sighs> well, yes. <laughs> the bitter truth there is that don't get a donor now. I'm afraid. We may lose her. Um, doctor, you, you earlier told us that uh, both her kidneys are bad. Then on a second breath, you told us that uh, if we can see one, one kidney that it can sustain her, I'm confused. My question is, uh, can that one kidney sustain her uh, uh, physiological activities for the rest of her life? Yes, sir. That is if it's gotten from a healthy person and well managed. <laughs> can we get that too? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, man. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> You mean she don't have any relative or anyone who could be of help at this point in time? No one, my son. I have tried. We don't have a close relative, not even one consanguineous relative. Eh? We don't have money to fly her abroad. Eh? Or even to secure a kidney transplant. I'm just lonely, helpless in this wicked world. That was exactly how I lost my two, two hefty shots. <laughs> two sons? Yes, two sons. Just like that. Eh? Faith is not being fair to me at all. I don't know why. I don't know why. Eh? I, I believe nothing will happen to her. Amen. Amen. I want to encourage both of you to be strong. But let's trust the God of 11th hour. The God of every impossibility. He has never failed before. And I believe he will never feel at this point in time because he's a God of every impossibility. Yes. Let's believe in him. Let's trust in him. He will do it at his own time. It's all right, my son. It's all right. Go about your normal business. On our part, we have, we have to, to... I'm just confused. I'm confused. Sir, you don't need to be confused. I'm confused. But please, Finally. you don't need to be. You have to be strong. You are the man of the house. If not for anything, you have to be strong for your wife, please. Third year in the university. Third year in the university. All our efforts. Would that be even? My God. God. It's gone down the drain. All the efforts. Gone down the drain. Just like that. 
Mama, calm down. Eh? Yeah. Just calm down. Don't do this and increase your BP. Please. See, Mama, I have strong faith in God that Miyoma is going to be fine. I believe in God Almighty. See, Mama, this is just a phase. Eh? You saved me from the cold hands of death. I will never wish an enemy to go through what I went through. It was a hell of pain for me. I saw my dead brothers even fighting for me to go back to our poor and helpless parents. When I woke up from the hospital bed, I felt no pain, all the pain, all gone. I felt light, like a newborn baby. Then I saw you. All I could remember was the taxi driver who dropped me at my father's. broke down into tears when my father told me you gave your kidney for me to live again. Miriam. I will be with you till eternity. You are the gold, silver, and die a moment in everything in this world. I can't stop thanking you enough for this kindness. And I will not trade your love for anything in this world because you're priceless. I believe God brought us together for a purpose. You know, I am happy. I'm happy that I saved a dying soul. I was scared that very day. But God gave me a second chance. Can I believe he gave me a second chance? So that you and I will be happy together forever. What 
todos dançando a mira, né, Oxé? Is that not the sound of the Ugeni that announces the death of Igwe? Nani, is the Igwe dead? No, not, no, that's not the sound of the real Ugeni that actually announces the exit of Igwe. Huh? But even at that, something might have gone wrong somewhere. By the way, where do you say our daughter went? Minioma? Huh? Where is this, is this, this chap? I said it. Eh? I said it. Oh, yes. I, I think he's gone. But he, I said it too. I knew it. I knew he wouldn't last long. In fact, he will stay so long to die. Nevertheless, let's go see him. Tomorrow, we shall install our new Igwe. Yes. It's as simple as that. The bottom line is that the white lion is dead. He's dead. <laughs> I know the advantage. It is now time for us to achieve our aim. You need to man up and let us go to the palace and get your wife to be. Again now. How do you explain this to me? That in the whole of Obodoma kingdom, not even one person that is willing to give his or her kidney to the king. My fiance has only but one kidney. Why her? Listen, you understand how you feel. Trust me, we do. But that is life for you. Kindness is a gift. And only few has it in life. everyone else. <laughs> Such a nice man. Where do I go? Where do I go from here? NGK own is finished. <laughs> <laughs> 
that we have lost our Igwe. We are sad. We are very sad. A great Iroko has fallen and the birds have scattered with a loud sound. He was a good man, a father and a great king. (sighs) 
he had the interest of the people at heart. We cannot overemphasize that. It's all laid out and we have seen it all. But the truth is, life must go on. Hey! Igwe! Igwe! Hey! Dead, why did you not take me instead of taking the good man away? What am I living for? Why did you take him away, dead? Hey! Um, my people, uh, what has happened has happened. Yeah? Uh, though our way, the white lion is dead and gone. But we that are still alive will continue living. So, as the Ojiofo of this kingdom, Obodoma, I hereby confirm Chifaku here to become our next Igwe instead of uh, our dead Igwe. The white lion. Eh? Oh! May his soul rest in peace. Amen. Um, so, oh no. Uh, let's go to the throne room and crown him immediately. Oh no. Mom. To the throne room. Hi. All of you are fools. All of you. All the cheers are fools. Disgrace to the color of your caps. The tradition of this land. <laughs> Fools! Walk in there. Go to the throne. Let me see how he will walk up there and sit on that throne. Come on, more. Let me see. Let me know whether it is the drum that beats human or human that beats the drum. Hey. You! Ako, whatever you call yourself, you will never, never be the king of this kingdom. Never. No way. Yes, Ako, whatever they call you, you will never be the king of this kingdom. Mokawa. Let me warn you. Whatever antiques you come with, you will never rule this kingdom. Do not stand on the word of the gods. I am not standing in the word of the gods. It is your selfishness that is driving you. But let me tell you, if you know the amount of money you have collected from this fool, go and give it back to him because he will never be the king of this kingdom. How dare you? How dare you talent, talent me? How dare you know? Look, oh no, let me tell you. You can never change the mind of the people who put over kingdom. You At all. Exactly. Over my dead body shall you rule this kingdom. You will never. You will never sit on that throne. Over your dead body. Okay then. We shall see. I will make you understand that I'm fully prepared today. I am prepared. We shall see. This is my wonderful, wonderful husband. The new king of this kingdom. Sure. We, never want. sure. we can prepare for your information. Just look at them. Look at all of them. Fools! Yes. I know that your mission is deadly. You have a deadly mission in this palace, you Princess Adenza. But I tell you this, you must regret all of this. You must regret Princess Adenza. Maka no kuko anha don't do two no maka gonro. A foul 
can swallow a needle, but will never live to boast of it. You. Who cares? You have fallen to the ground. You are underneath me. You are beneath me, my darling. Chief Akuhir will be our next Igwe. Mom. Eche Akunawa. You will go crown him our next Igwe. Exactly. Time is ticking and we must bury our dead. Sure, my people, what has happened has happened. Mm -hmm. We cannot die with the dead. Never. What has happened has happened. Eh? Uh, we will bury our late king, the white lion. Yes. And life continue going on. So, eh? Ah! Igwe! Where's that F number? Igwe! You're dead! I'm wearing your jumba! Where's that F number? Hey! Onu Guruja, you're good in the mind. The mind that speaks evil will speak good now. No! Our king is alive! Our king is alive! Good people of Obodama. Let me make it clear that I am still very much alive, <laughs> hale, and hearty. However, I am a king who's been constantly accused of loving his people more than they love him. And so I decided to play this little prank on all of you. Just to see how far you can go for your dear king. Just to see how much sacrifice you're willing to make. Had I been sick, as claimed, all I needed from all of you standing here was just one kidney. Just one. But indeed I was surprised by the turn of events. I don't think you know your subjects too well. They don't like you. Not even a single one of them. I know why I'm saying this repeatedly. They don't care about you. Even if you try hard, they only care about your money and what they want from you and nothing else. I'm on this earth to do right by people and care for my people. I'm not here to begin to see who likes me or who does not like me. Everyone cannot like you. But as long as I can do good for my people from my heart, I'm just fine. I challenge you to test their loyalty. Because it's heartbreaking to feed the python that will stink you to death at the end. I'm too sick to test anyone's loyalty. I have wisdom. I'm king and I know that he who has to feed a python would have to be very careful. I am good to my people. And that's all that matters to me. I dare say, I am too sick for this kind of conversation. I am sick. Very, very sick. Constantly, Adesi reminded me that I am not loved by my people. She constantly said to me, White lion, you feed pythons as your brothers. All these people do not love you. 
as much as you love them. But I decided to take your advice. I gave her the impression that truly I was ill. But I ask you all today, was she right or wrong? She might not be one of my favorite persons, but I dare to say that she has opened my eyes to the fact that truly I have fed pythons, loved enemies as family. I heard everything. I heard all the conversations in the palace. And to all the elders of my cabinet wanting to install Chief Ako as the new Igwe while I am still alive and breathing. I see all of you. Today I hereby expel all of you from my cabinet. I knew it! I said it! I said it! Oh, my Igwe, I thank you so much for playing that death star. Mana, please don't try it again. I almost committed on my way here. <laughs> but I said, one of the chairs must follow me if I have to die. <laughs> Indeed, your love is pure. Your love is true. Your love is deep. Your love is sincere. Emilioma. You are my true subject. I saw everything, I heard everything. And I would not forget. Obina. My lord, get on your knees. Miriam, today, I bless the union between you and Obinna, the man that truly owns your heart. Yes, Women like you are rare to find. Your love for this man is indeed true. Your love for him is steadfast. Obina, you're a good man. And today I bless this union. Go ahead and get married. You have my support. I'll support you spiritually. I'll stand by you physically. I'll be with the both of you every step of the way as a king of Obodoma. I hereby gift you a sum of 200 million naira. Plus a beautiful duplex in the United Kingdom. One lion! My dear Juliana. The love of my youth. Stop crying. I should be the one crying because I know that I have hurt you so much. But today is not for tears, my darling. Today I appreciate you in front of everyone for being so steadfast. Thank you for loving me beyond my faults. Thank you for being very steadfast. In spite of myself, you held on and you believed that our love would stand the test of time. Because you are the one who sees the things that I cannot see and hears the things that I can't hear. It is very clear that I cannot rule Obodoma without you. 
And so I ask you, in the presence of good people here, will you be my wife once again? Yes, yes, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Father, why, why are you disturbed? What is the matter, Father? Talk to me. What is going on with you? The worst has happened. What happened? Please speak to me. Talk to me. What happened? I got a call from the presidency that I've been removed from office. Ah. I'm no longer the minister of petroleum and natural resources. Father, tell me you are joking. This is not true, right? I wish I can say that, my daughter. Everything is gone. I've lost everything. King Ikimba has finished me. He has ruined my life. Did I hear you say King Ikimba? What did he do? I have it on good authority that he was responsible for my removal. He called the presidency. That young man is wicked. He's evil. Father, you can't blame him. You caused it. I warned you. Remember, I did. I told you to give King Ikemba what is due to him and his kingdom. But you refused. You insisted taking more than half of what the federal government allocated to them for the oil that was found in their land. Hmm? <laughs> so why are you blaming me now? All I did, I did because of you. Oh, Father, please. You didn't do this because of me. Huh? You never did. It is because of your own selfishness. Yes. Father, you pushed me to that kingdom with all my beauty and brain to be insulted, humiliated by King Ikemba. Oh, I regret listening to you. In fact, I regret having you as my father. You are evil. Evil man. Excuse me. I'm finished. Generous King Guy. Ochi donyo bonye de nuwa Ifo keli nuwa konanya Ebe lobo na manebe Igwi kemba wa The white lion Niga wa Onye mwele si mobi sali sali E shefu giba E shefu giba Ina bebe si for money Maka wani woke bide Woke bide He's helping the people Man of good will He wanyo Ina de ax for the world Maka wani He's helping the people Man of good will, he want you He not the ax for reward Maka why, but you can show You are pure in heart Loved by many I pay si bom manu Me loko ki I want kingdom is place Having you as our king Your kingship has touched everyone's life
your days belong.